This is a quick demo to show you how to set up payments on your NFT contract so that you can accept credit card payments. So I'm here on staging.crossmint.io and logging into the dev console. Once logged in, just select this collections option from the top navigation. and create a new collection. I'm just gonna call this Ethereum demo. Select ETH for the blockchain. And we want to give it a URL for an image that will show up in the checkout pop-up. So I already have a thumbnail sized image uploaded to decentralized storage. So I'm gonna copy this URL and then save it here. Give it a quick description. and we'll save this. All right, so now we already have a client ID, but we still need to complete the contract registration. So I'll select that from this left-hand nav here, and we are gonna use an ERC721 that I've already deployed for this. You can see we have a few other options there. And let me jump over to here. It's deployed on Gurley, so I'm gonna copy this contract address save it here and then we need to grab the ABI section for the mint function so let me show you how to do that I'll scroll to the bottom of this now this contracts verified so you can see all of the source code and the contract ABI quick trick is to search this for double quote payable and that'll narrow it down to just the payable functions I know that the name of my function is mint so this is the right one here and I just need to select this little object right there, this JSON string. So I'll copy that to my clipboard, come back to the CrossMint Dev Console, paste that in here. It automatically, automatically identifies that it has an address recipient and names that here, and it also guesses at what the quantity parameter is gonna be. With those two selected, we can go ahead and save this contract. If you're looking for a sample contract, the one that I'm setting up right here is a public GitHub repo that you can grab and use it as a starter to set up your own ERC721. Let's head back to the CrossMint console. All right, so now this is configured. Just copy the client ID right there. And then have this sample HTML page. It's going to paste in the client ID, save that. I've already set up the mint config to have the total price matching the price in the contract, and this quantity parameter matches the argument name in the mint function that I have set up. So with this done, I'm going to save this file, and I'll go open that in a browser. Now I have a buy with credit card cross mint button. Click that to open up the checkout. And we'll continue here. There's a test credit card you can use, which is just all four twos and then any valid expiration date or CVC code. And that is pretty much all there is to it. We're now minting this NFT with a credit card purchase. There we go. All right, so you can transfer it directly to a third party or a standard Web3 wallet or open it in CrossMint, which we'll do right now. And let me 
expand this window a little bit. There we go. You can see the NFT that we just minted with the credit card. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.